Disney presents... From Fantasyland... Moochie of Pop Warner Football. The Pee Wees versus City Hall. In 1917, one of the most promising football players at West Point was known as the Kansas Cyclone. Today, this young man is known all over the world as Ike. President Eisenhower is just one of thousands of prominent men who played football in their youth. At a recent Football Hall of Fame banquet, General Douglas MacArthur said, the game has become a symbol of our country's best qualities, courage, stamina, and coordinated efficiency. Many governments in the world today, recognizing the need for such training, conduct mass athletic programs, while we in America prefer to accomplish the same result on a voluntary basis through schools, clubs, and organizations like the Pop Warner Football Federation, named after the great coach, Glenn Scobie Warner. Pop Warner football is specially tailored for boys from 9 to 15. Teams are matched according to age and weight. The players are given the best uniforms and safety equipment. Experienced coaches teach them how to block, tackle, and take a fall without getting hurt. The football these youngsters play will surprise you in more ways than one. You'll see it for yourself in our two-part program, Moochie of Pop Warner Football. This week's story is titled, The Pee Wees versus City Hall. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the game, folks. That was a lot of fun. Well, thanks for the two dollars. Oh, what's your hurry, Fred? Why don't you come on in for a minute? I'll get you a snack. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Well, I don't know why you paid green fees, Fred. You're never on the fairway. And how many traps were you in? Hi, Mom. Hi, Pop. Preston? Hi, Moochie. Mochi. Yes, sir. I don't mean to pry into your affairs, but would you mind telling me why is it necessary to weigh your lunch? Because I've got to gain 10 pounds in a hurry. Why? Because I want to become a midget. You want to become a midget? Yes, sir. They don't have peewees around here. Peewees? Uh, Mochi, would you mind? Oh, what are you talking about? Football. Pop Warner football. Pop Warner football? Uh-huh. The Pop Warner midgets play it over in the park. It's just like Little League Baseball. Except the coach said I was too little to play. Coach says you're too little? Mm-hmm. That's what he said. Where does he get off saying that? Well, I know a lot of little guys that play football. Uh, Mooch, will you put it down, please? You're going to make yourself sick. You can't gain 10 pounds overnight. Yes, I can, Pop. No, I won't, Mom. Uh, Moochie, please. Now, look, I'll go over to the park and get this thing straightened out for you. I realize that, but we've got rules, safety precautions. Our boys play only in their own age and weight groups. Those kids over there we call midgets. Moochie should be in the Pee Wee League, like, uh, like those kids over there. 
They all want to play. But unfortunately, there's no Pee Wee League in this town. Well, I'd like to know why not. Because we can't find anybody to coach them, that's why not. Well, that's ridiculous. It is. We don't just take anyone, you know. Uh, would an all-conference tackle qualify? Well, that depends on how well he handles kids. Oh, he's great with kids. Oh, now, wait a minute. Just a darn minute. And he's a family man. Oh, but he has no sons. Only one daughter. A daughter? That's great. She can be a pom-pom girl. But, fellas, I can't... Uh, didn't you tell me your middle name was football? You'll get plenty of help from the fathers of those boys over there. But, fellas, I can't do anything like this. You come over to my house tonight, and I'll set you straight on the whole deal. Oh, now, wait. Uh, he'll be there. Oh, Dr. Clark, I can't... No, be... no, no, Johnson. Get rid of that pass faster. <laughs> yeah. Laugh, huh? All right, I appoint you my assistant coach. Laugh that off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mooch. Here it comes. Touchdown. This time, throw it from over there. Ready, set, hop one, hop two, hop three. You better practice up on your pass catching. Yeah. This election is not going to be a cinch, Mr. Mayor. I suggest that you attend this garden party. It'll help swing the women's civic circle. The women's civic circle? I've had those fuss budgets on my neck for four years. Do we need them? There are 208 of them, Mr. Mayor. They go out ringing doorbells. They drive people to the polls. They talk to their friends on the phone. Man, do they talk on the phone. All right, Excuse Garden. Me, Dad. Please don't bother us now, Hilliard. We're very busy. But, Dad, today's the day to register for the football team. Did you sign the application? No, I haven't had time to check into it yet. We'll have to do it next week. 
Next week, but that'll be too late. I've got to be there Please, today. Please, you're interrupting a very important meeting. Interrupting a very important meeting. I'm always interrupting a very important meeting. Don't let me do anything. Hilliard! These kids. Excuse me, gentlemen. Charles. Yes, sir? Will you come in here, please? Yes, sir. I'm Charles. Take Hilliard over to that football registration at the park. Here's his application. Yes, sir. Pick yourself out a helmet. Yeah. Hello, Johnny. Oh, there. Looking forward to your number. Thank you. Pick out a helmet. Hey, Pop! Hello, Hello there. How are you? Mooshy, well, what do you know? Let me see you. Turn around. Oh, you look just great. Get on out there and play. Pick out a helmet. Hey, Sam! Check it here! Here. What do you think? I think I owe you a good punch in the nose. That's what I think. Can't take a joke, huh? Excuse me. Hey, Sam! <laughs> See you around, Shorty. Shorty, huh? Starting as of now, you're no longer boys. You're men. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to act like men, both on and off the field. Now, it's going to take a lot of hard work. First, build up your bodies by conditioning exercises. It also means getting to practice on time. We've got a lot of work to do on the fundamentals of football, how to block, how to tackle, how to play together as a team. Now, another thing, men, you're going to have to buckle down in school. Pay attention to your teachers. Do your homework. Boneheads can't play football. One of the important rules of Pop Warner football is the fact that every man on the squad has to make a C average or better. And finally, I expect each of you men to display good sportsmanship at all times. Moochie. Huh? Huh? Did you hear what I just said? Uh, yes, sir. Well, then quit that. Mr. Preston, he did it. He what? Nothing, sir. All right, now. Here's a schedule of our games and practices. Yes. Read it carefully and pay attention to what it says. Now, Mr. Croker? You'll need this to signal the end of each period of play. Oh, my word. Now, don't worry about it. It'll fire nothing but blanks. Blanks? Blanks or no blanks. Don't point it at me. Now, have you looked at the manual? Oh, oh yes. yes, yes. Manual, yes. Do you know the signals? Signals? In the manual, there's some diagrams illustrating the referee's signals. Now, I want you to study these and test each other on them so you'll know them by heart. We'll get on to that right away. Come along, old boy. Oh, Come on. All right, men, we're going out on the field now and start working on the fundamentals of football. Now, who wants to play guard? Tackle? Backfield. <laughs> All right, put your hands down. That figures. I'll assign the positions myself. Now, spread out. Pick an opponent, line up opposite him. All right, boys. Let's try it now. All right. This is offense. This is defense. All right, get yourself set. Charge! Oh. 
Say, boy, where'd you learn to use your hands like that? Salt well, pepper, sir. Well, good work. Moochie, keep your head up. Look where you're going. Then you won't get dumped like that. All right, let's try it again. All right. Line up. Now, this time, this side is defense. This side is offense. All right, men, let's go. Get down there. Ready? Charge! No, 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 no. None of you are charging hard enough. Except for Hilliard here, you all look like a bunch of clowns. Come on, Mooch. Now, come on, over there, Hilliard. Come on, let's go. All right, men, down. Get ready. All right, now, men, think. A little speed in there. Go. No, 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 no. You gotta hit him low and hard. <laughs> we sure need a tackling dummy, don't we? <laughs> hey, Muddy! What's the latest on the tackling dummy? Oh, we can't get delivery for two weeks yet. Okay. Well, come on, let's try it again. Back in the end of the line. Tackling dummy? What do you suppose that is? I seem to have seen a diagram of it somewhere. Huh? Oh, there it is. There. Can see it, old boy? Can you read By it? Jadfrey. It's just like Archibald. Archibald? Yes, Archibald. My nephew works with him. At the Air Force Testing Bureau. I wager I can get him here for practice tomorrow. Air Force Testing Bureau? You know you've lost me, old boy. All right, men, now I want you to think. When you hit him, hit him low. Hit him down by the knees. And charge him hard. All right, 21, hit him. That's the way to go. All right, number 15, hit him low now. That's the way to go. So far, so good. But out there on the field, that ball carrier isn't going to let you tackle him. He's going to try and get away from you the best he can. So, will you gentlemen simulate some evasive tactics with those ropes? Like this? We'll make a blinking jumping jack of him, old boy. Knock his head off. That's it. Now, hit, your, hit him low and charge him hard. All right, go, boy. That's it. That's the way to do it. Did you see what he did? Kept his head up and his eyes on the ball carrier. All right, Mooch. I hit him low and charge him hard. Go, boy. <laughs> Mooch! Come over here. I guess I missed. Well, of course you did, Mooch. You had your eyes on the ground. Is that what it was? Well, certainly that's what it was. Now, what's so hard about this? Well, let me show you what I mean. Get out of the way, Mooch. Okay, gentlemen. Make it tough on me. Give it the works. The works. Very well. Croker! The works! The works. Now all you gotta do is keep your eye on the ball carrier. It's just that simple. When you get down, you're gonna charge him. Charge <laughs> Never mind, now what? <laughs> Ready, set. All right, defense, keep your eye on the ball carrier now. Hit one, hit two. do that the play was already over well i haven't got eyes in the back of my head shorty well don't do it again see 
Hilliard's right, Mucci. An offensive player never looks back to see if the runner's been tackled. He carries out his blocking assignment regardless. He does, huh? Yep. Okay. All right, boys, let's try it again now, huh? All right, gentlemen. I want you to give me the signal for offsides. Offside. You've got to learn how to control your temper. But Mr. A stunt like that would cost your team nine yards. But Mr. President, he knocked me down long after the runner had already been tackled. Is that right, Hilliard? I was just doing what you told me, Mr. Preston. Carrying out my blocking assignment. Well, I... All I want is for you two to get along. Remember, we're a team. We're supposed to work together. Now, come on, let's forget this nonsense and get back in the game. Come on. Come on, Mooch. Let's get back to our lesson. Hey, Pop. Hmm? Were you and, um... Mr. Preston, counting on me? I mean, for the team? Why, yes, of course. You've got 21 other guys. I mean, you could have a good team without me, couldn't you? Well, I guess, sir. Uh... What I mean is, well, when I first started into football, I thought it was mostly just passes and touchdowns and all that exciting kind of stuff. I never thought about the tackling and the blocking and, well, all those other kind of fundamentals. Well, it's kind of boring. Boring, huh? Yeah. So, um, I guess maybe I ought to sort of drop out? There uh, isn't any other reason, son. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Well, sometimes when you have a problem, it helps to bring it out in the open. Kick it around a bit, you know, with other people. Uh-huh. By the way, um... You know that broken spoke on my bike? Mm-hmm. I fixed it today, all by myself, too. Oh, great. Good for you. Yeah. Well, good night, Pop. Good night. What's the matter, Pumpkin? Are you sure? Uh-huh. Well, good night, sweetheart. Good night, Ma. Sleep tight. drop out of football, I know someone will be very happy. You mean Mom? No. I mean Hilliard.
Think it over, son. But why does he hate me, Pop? I never did anything to him. Well, the reason behind hate hardly ever makes sense. The important thing is what you do about it. Either you fight back or you live with it. But you never run away from it. I'd like to think you can handle the situation, son. Oh, you know that broken spoke on my bike? I fixed it today, all by myself. <laughs> I know. You told me. Oh, I did? Uh. Good night, son. Good night, Pop. In other words, the point where I spot the ball becomes the line of scrimmage. Scrimmage? Scrimmage. That's right. At the end of first scrimmage, I mean scrimmage, is the end of the first inning. No, no, that's baseball. In football, we say down. 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 Down, you blockhead. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, Monty. Hello, Monty. What's the matter with your leg? Oh, I guess I'm not as young as I thought I was. <laughs> Where's Mooch? Well, isn't he here? No. Come along, Croker, and I'll phone you up on stuff you don't seem to be able to get into that stupid old head of yours. Very well, Coach. <laughs> here he comes. Hi, Pop. What's the matter, Mooch? You're late. I'm sorry. What kept you? Well, I, I guess I lost track of time. Well, come on, boy. Get in there. Yes, sir. Okay, I want to play. Hey! your feet. We're gonna have a little pass practice. Now line up in two lines. Hey, you two, cut it out. Cut it out, I said. Cut it out, Mooch. Now save your pep for that pass drill. Come on, boys. Then you get over in the other line. Come on, move. All right, Mooch, go get him. That's a nice catch. All right, Hilliard, out you go. That's hanging on to it. Getting the old hands on the ball. All right, number 19, out you go. Take over, will you, Kip? Here. Oh, up. There they are in the field. 
Well, well, Mayor Wood. Welcome to Pop Warner Football. Thank you. This is Miss Eloise Devin, president of the Women's Civic Circle. How do you do? How do you do? I'm Fred Preston, coach, and this is my assistant, Monty Morgan. How do you do? Oh, it's a pleasure to have you here, Mr. Mayor. You too, Miss Devin. Uh, Miss Devin expressed a little concern about this football program for young boys, so I suggested we drop over and see it for ourselves. Well, that's just real fine. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, it's a pleasure to have your son play with us. Yes, he's the best player on the team. Oh. <laughs> Injured! Hi, Dad! Let me go this time. Let me go this place. Watch him catch his pass now. Oh. Well, not bad. Not bad. Not bad? I thought it was very good. Very good? I thought it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see some scrimmage? That's what we're here for. Keep your eyes open. Oh, I assured Miss Devon and the ladies of the Civic Circle that this game the boys play is perfectly safe. Oh, you needn't worry about Pop Warner football, Miss Devon. We spend a lot of time teaching the boys scholarship and character as well as football. It's the football we are concerned about. I'm sure you haven't a thing to worry about. Now watch this. Hilliard's running the team. If I know Hilliard, he'll pull something sensational. <laughs> All right, you guys, come on, let's get in there and get these guys. You can beat them. Just hit them low and hit them hard. And keep your eye on the ball. Fellas. Now listen, my dad's here. Now let's show him what we can do with the old 14 keep. And don't forget to block for me. Okay, break! Is that what you call safe? Do you mean to tell me that you're playing tackle football? Why, sure. Well, I thought it was touch football. Touch? Oh, no. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, I... Uh, uh... Oh, you didn't have to kill me. I was just doing what Mr. Preston told me. I'm very sorry if I hurt you. Hilliard! Come here. Polis. Yeah, Dad, what do you want? Come on, son, let's go. Go? But I can't. I'm in the middle of a game. I'm the quarterback. Now, listen, son, no arguments. Into the car. Uh, but, Mr. Mayor... Uh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but I can't condone this. I should say not. I mean, after all, this is city property. Supposing somebody got hurt, there'd be lawsuits, damages. I tried. Eloise, I assure you, I had no idea this kind of thing was going on. Come on. Oh, but, Dad, I can't hold it. Come on. Oh, we can not get hurt. You can't hear what Chicken can you get? One hard tackle and he quits. Oh, yeah. Well, we can try. Sorry to burst in like this, but idea. it's an emergency, an emergency. How could you hear this dreadful news? A bunch of women in the Civic Circle. They passed a resolution before the Civic Council. We know, Mr. Kroger. We've read the paper. But this resolution, it will impose a ban on tackle football. We know, Mr. Bennett. We know. But they mustn't. But they can't. But they did. But why? I don't know, Mr. Croker, but well, I kind of wish that Moochie hadn't tackled Hilliard so hard. Well, if you ask me, Hilliard had it coming to him. The way he's been picking on Moochie. Well, I say let the city council pass their resolution. We'll just have our boys play football somewhere else. There is no other place, unless you want them playing in the streets. I say we'll fight this resolution to the last ditch. Huh. That won't be so easy. Not with the civic circle behind it. You watch. They'll be at the city hall in force tomorrow. I promise you. At city hall. Yes, they're having a hearing on this resolution. We're planning to be there to protest. Bully. Count on me. And me. I was a barrister in England. I can talk. I can talk for hours. Well, great, you can be our spokesman. I accept. Good. Suppose we sit down and plan our case. And have a drink. Oh. And this is how I shall prepare this case. 
Well, good night. Thanks for coming. We'll see you at City Hall tomorrow. Three o'clock. We'll be there. By the way, my nephew telephoned. He'll require Archibald back on Monday morning. Oh, you can have him right now if you want to. He's just out here and back. Sure, we're getting delivery on our own tackling dummy tomorrow. Very well. What do you say? I say what you say. Very well. Well, right this way, gentlemen. Hurry up, old man. Put him in the trunk. I must be careful not to bump his head. <laughs> After what Fred did to him, what difference does it make? Good thing that crowded city hall didn't see the gang work on him. Speaking of city hall, we'll need plenty of ammunition for tomorrow. Never fear. As the Yankees put it, I'll go right in and blast them. <laughs> Come on. Come along. That's right, a body. Yes, inside the trunk of a car. I didn't get their license number, but they are going to kill somebody else tomorrow. At City Hall. Yes, ma'am, a gray car. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Goodbye. Did you ever hear of a torpedo with a British accent? <laughs> Not since the Hound of the Baskervilles. Why? This lady says she saw a couple of them putting a body in the trunk of a car. Hey, we better double that detail at City Hall tomorrow. City Hall? Yeah. She says she thinks they're going to pull a job down there. Is this a gag? As far as I know. Anything happen? No gray car, no English torpedo, no body. Well, I guess it must have been a false alarm. But we better stay on the job a while. A lot of people inside today. Delay of game or excess timeout, what is the signal? Dash it all, Bennett. This is no time to pester me with these preposterous signals. This is no time for pessimism. We'll defeat this law. That means the first game will take place this Saturday. And I, for one, intend to be prepared. And so should you. Oh. Now then, delay of game. Very well, then. Arms folded in front of chest. Correct. Of course I'm correct. Well, there's no need to be belligerent. Just because you happen to have it right for the first time. Come on, get a move on. The first witness will be Miss Eloise K. Devon, president of the Women's Civic Circle. Miss Devon. Uh, Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today because I love children. That sounds fine coming from an old maid like her. I'm also here as representative of an organization of public-spirited women who've served this community unselfishly for over 75 years. Gosh, is she that old? And now we are deeply concerned, I might say genuinely alarmed, at what's going on in our public playgrounds. A program of tackle football for boys under the age of 12 and supervised by adults who ought to know better. Where's Bennett? He should be listening to this. Just a couple more. Oh, now, listen, Bennett. Never mind. What is the signal for holding? Oh, the signal? That. Correct. Field goal. Field goal. Uh, that must be this. No, 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 no. Higher. Get him up. Get him up. Look. Yeah, it looks like a stick-up. Come on. Just a minute there, you two. Relax, Mr. Over Police. Put your hands on the car. Put my hands on the car? I said put your hands on the car. I 
I say, what is the meaning of this outrage? Just a minute. Is this your car? No, it's his. Henry Croker Esquire, Frogmorton Street, London. Lieutenant Colonel, Royal Horse Guards, retired. This is indubitably a case of mistaken identity. The British accent. The old lady was right. Search the car. Get over there, you. Me? Get back over there. You meaning me? And in conclusion, I'd like to remind every citizen of this town that if this dangerous game is allowed to continue, it'll be our children that suffer. <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce Mr. Stanley Wickershaw, staff psychologist of the State Child Welfare Bureau. He has a few remarks to make. Mr. Stanley Wickershaw. I am a barrister. I know my rights. My dear fellow, this is preposterous. This chap's a friend of mine. He's got a limey accent, too. Born at Teddington on Thames. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we are dealing with. Deep-seated anxieties. Inner conflicts rooted in experiences of traumatic proportions. What kind of double talk is that? And <clears throat> for that reason, I strongly urge the passage of this measure. What could have happened to Mr. Bennett? I tell you, there's nothing in the trunk. That is, nothing but Archibald. Archibald? Archibald. You heard Archibald. Yes, see for yourself. Stay right where you are. Mm. The old girl was right. Relax, Cavelli. It's only a dummy. Dummy? Precisely. Well, it's okay, Cavelli. I'm sorry, gentlemen, it's our mistake. All right. Extraordinary. Quite, I suggest we get to the meeting. I say, look after Archibald. Close it down. Mind his legs. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak? Oh, Mr. Bennett is too late. Go on, say something. Say something? Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you lock these kids out of the parks, We'll have them playing in the streets, and that is dangerous. That's what we on the Pop Warner program are trying to avoid. We're trying to set up the safest possible conditions of play. If you ask me, if you pass a law like this, it's an invasion of personal freedom. In my opinion, it should be the fathers who should decide whether the boys play tackle football or not. That's all very well for you, Mr. Preston, but you don't have a boy. Well, well I have one. Well, I've got nine of them. Stand up, men. There you are. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I say let them play. Yeah. Let's have order, please. Well, we certainly have had a healthy public debate this afternoon. And as for the question of tackle football, much has been said pro and con. I'm forced to the conclusion that the subject is more highly complex than it would seem. And I must ask the council one question. Are we absolutely certain that these boys can play highly competitive football without getting hurt, either physically or psychologically? It is our responsibility to see that they don't. I now order the debate closed and the question will be called. Mr. Chairman, I object. Very strenuously. Me too, sir. I want to confess. Confess? To what? Well, it's all my fault, sir. I'm guilty. I started the whole thing. I tackled your son Hilliard much too hard. Much harder than I had to, sir. I was very bad at good sportsmanship, sir. And I want to apologize to him right now. I'm sorry, Hilliard. Honest, I am. Sorry. Well, that's all very interesting, son, but what does it have to do with the proceedings? Huh? 
What does it have to do with this law? Well, on account it was my fault. I don't see why the other kids can't play football. What I mean is, couldn't you just pass a law saying that I couldn't play football and leave all the other kids alone? Please? Mr. Mayor, really I must protest this is all very much out of order. On the contrary, Mr. Mayor, this is very much in order and to the point. This little nipper here, th this little man, has given us an example of integrity, honesty, good sportsmanship, and I might even say self-sacrifice. These fine traits of character were engendered in him, at least in part, by the Pop Warner program. If you pass this resolution, that is what you'll destroy. Now, gentlemen, proceed with your voting. Come along, there. Well, if there are no further objections, we will now vote. All those in favor of the resolution banning tackle football, please signify by raising your hand. All those opposed to the measure. The motion is defeated. Back on the team now? No, dear, I'm afraid not. But, Dad. Come on, son, we better go home. Pardon me. Make way for the night! Hey, Hilliard. You're going to be back on the team, aren't you? Oh. Great chance for Moochie! Yeah. Yeah. 